Welcome and good as well, must you welcome back to another episode of the HYP aka the House of YouTube podcast with myself is my name below aka Miss IBB alongside the Bruce Peter Booker. What are you doing? And you look so boy. Take off the hood. You're not that cool. How is your how's your week been? Oh my week. My week's kind of been good. Some of this kind of shit and stuff. Hey. Like, hey, you can't say that. You can't be saying these bad words in the podcast, Khalil. We've said this before. Okay. Now this is the second time. Okay, I mean it's been like kind of like bad. Uh kind of bad and stuff. But it's also good as well. Your fam family. I've, I've been doing good I've been doing good on school. I'm so fun. No. Fam, you don't really sound motivated for this podcast. You just be like, oh, it's, it's just uh, this. It's, it's, it's what it? It's, it's, it's just the same as every other week. No, last week when I asked you. No, sorry, that was two weeks ago. But two weeks ago, you were like, oh, the week was good. You were talking about this, talking about that. Well, if you think your week was okay, I'll tell you this. My week hasn't been okay. It's been stressful. And you know why yeah. it's stressful? Because I have this, I have this project that I have to do. And, and the lecture wants like 3,000 words. And right now, I'm only 1,000 words into the project. And it's, and it's just been it's been a head wreck. <laughs> so yeah, what only I'm, a thousand words. Like, only a thousand. Just a thousand. No, like a thousand and few words, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I was like, he wants want 3,000. So I like, if I'm thinking about it, it's just like, I mean, the second chapter of it, third chapter will be all right. Fourth will be okay. Fifth is can be done. Then I have to do the conclusions and then the recommendations. And then I have the chapter of my bibliography. Meaning that there is every, here's the places that can I, I wait, wait. And then I have to write like the different places I've searched, the different places I've researched while doing this project just to make sure that. Even though the work's my own, just make sure I haven't copied or pasted anything. That everything I've seen, I put it into my own words. So anyway, before we get before we get underway into this episode of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, I I just want us to say first of all, we want to congratulate Fatima Chiroma and her friend. How on the channel getting 400 subscribers? We want to send out congratulations to them, even though they haven't made a video in almost 10 months. It's just good to see that if they've been on doing YouTube for quite some time, they've got 100, 200, 3, now I've got up to 400. And we wish nothing more than the best. And hopefully, they can get up to. 500 subscribers, maybe the six, seven, eight, nine, then maybe they might see us get to 1,000. So, once again, we want to say our congratulations to them both. Now, now the first topic we want to talk about um, this topic is talk about what is, a, what is the one thing that if you lose it, you just feel just devastated. You know what I'm talking about, Kenan? Because I want to say this. Here's what happened. Like I think it was like last week or earlier this week. A football player, um, former Arsenal Academy youth player, Benik Afobe. He's not 26 years old, but like Benik Afobe, he lost his two-year-old daughter after a severe infection that she suffered. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Erboy, like, many of Fobi announces tragic news that two-year-old daughter Amora has died from a severe infection. Now, let me just read, read out what was being said. It says, it says right here that um, oh, that's the guy. Bristol, Bristol City striker Benik Afobi has announced the devastating news that his two-year-old daughter has passed away. On Sunday morning, the 26-year-old released a statement revealing Amora died on Friday having unexpectedly developed a severe infection. It is with an extremely 
heavy heart their Foley family have today confirmed the devastating news that their first child, their beloved daughter Amora, two years of age, passed away on Friday evening, it read. Amora was taken to hospital for treatment under others unexpectedly developing a severe infection. Unfortunately, she then suffered a number of serious complications, and despite doctors doing absolutely everything they possibly could, Amora passed away peacefully with the love of her family by her side. The entire family has been left totally devastated. I would like to ask that their privacy is respected at this incredibly difficult moment. So, Stoke City Campbell is here, the fault and prayers of everyone at Stoke City are at Benning Cafe be following this tragic news will be with you and wolves have also tweeted out saying our hearts our hearts break for Benny of Wolves and his wife and his family following the tragic news of his daughter passing this weekend. The wolves family are with you, Benick. And I just want to say that on behalf of the House of YouTubers podcast, we um, we wish Benny of Wolves and his family that their daughter rest in peace. Uh, yeah. Lord, for, forgive her for all the, for her wrongdoings, even though maybe she was just like, too young. But we're just always saying our hearts go out to them. Their souls rest in peace. Now, the thing I want to talk to you about, Khalil, is like, what's the one thing that when you lose it, you're just going to feel devastated? And I want you to be serious about it, Khalil. Don't mention any nonsense. Come on, just well, say I lose something. Like, what do you mean when I lose something? Like, like Khalil, here's the thing. Like, a parent losing their child will feel like, will feel like it's a stab to the heart because it's, it's, it's the parents, I listen the thing, like, the parents having a child and the child passing before they did, obviously going to be absolutely devastating, Khalid, because here's the thing. If, if you're a man, you'll be out there in public be like, oh, I'm so big and strong, nothing affects me. But then the moment they have a child and it's a daughter, Khalid, everything goes out the window and they want to do whatever it took to protect, to protect their daughter, make sure no one hurts her. Like, take this for example, Khalil. Let's say a man has a son and a man punches him in his arm. And his son's like, ah, oh, you punched me in my arm. He will say, hey, you're a boy. You're strong. You can just brush it off. But if it, if, it, if he did it to his daughter, then you'll be like, oh, oh, oh my God, are you okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Like, like Khalil, have it, for a man to have a daughter, it's one complete. It's like having one complete thing. A son is just half of it, like because you know, okay, in Islam, when um, you have a daughter and and you raise her up and then go and get married, it's like being. You just want to make sure that your daughter is being safe. And when she's going to get married, you want her to be with someone that would look after her the same way that her father did. You know what I'm saying, Khalil? Mm -hmm. So one thing I will say, if if I was like to lose something that I'll be absolutely devastated, I would have to I would have to say having a daughter because of course, I'm not in his, I'm not in his shoes, but I can understand how it feels. So tell me, Khalil, what I happen to by eat on that cap? What do you think oh. about this? What do I think about this? Yeah, yeah. what do you think about the news of of a medical phobia losing his daughter at only two years of age? It's like it's really sad. Like I don't even know. I used to speak up a bit. It's really sad, like, I don't even know what to say, like, it's like having a daughter and then a daughter, two years old, she, she dies, it's like, two years old is like a really young age to die, 
can, you know, like, like people die at that age, like pe people feel like, oh, like people who miss them so much, because like, you know, like when a baby is first born, everybody will be coming up to you, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that, oh, congratulations for having this, like, as a son or a daughter, but then when, but then at two years, like, when they die really young, like, people, people will just be like, oh, sorry for the loss, sorry for the loss, and the amount of grief that you have is, like, so, so sometimes the amount of grief that you have is just, Sometimes it just gets the best of you, like, so, sometimes it just takes you over. Yeah, you are. You are right. I have to agree with that. I mean, losing, losing a loved one is terrible. Like, losing a son is terrible. But, like, there's just a feeling when you lose a daughter. It's like a good bit of you is gone. It's like you've... You went from being this macho man to having a daughter, just doing everything to protect her, and then when you lose her, you're just, you just feel. I know it's heartbroken. I know it's just you're just heartbroken, but like that bit of you is just like taken away. It's gone. Like it's never going to come back. So like, of course, like of course, I understand. It's very tragic. So we'll just say once again, on behalf of the HYP, aka the House of YouTube podcast, we want to have our hearts and wish you go toward the Afobi family. I wish your daughter rests in peace. And before we get to the topic, we have this person called H. Hamid. M. Hamid. Say, I'm not crazy. I'm like, well, judging from all your comments, it sounds like you are crazy because we're just after talking about a very heart touching topic. You're just desperately looking for attention. If you are listening, you could have maybe given us your point of view on it. But if you want to understand what we were talking about, just go back and listen to what we were talking about. That's all that we're just going to say for now. Now, the next topic I want to talk about, again, is not that great, but a London Bridge attack victim died after being stabbed in the chest. Well, I know, Khalil. Again, it's not good news, but again, this one just happened recently. So what it says, the two victims of the London Bridge attack both died as a result of being stabbed in the chest. The inquest into the deaths have heard. The inquest into the deaths of Jack Merritt, 25, and Saskia Jones, 23, both Cambridge graduates, opened at Old Bailey in central London on Wednesday before being adjourned to a day to be determined. Again, it just sounds similar to the thing we talked about, like the thing we talked about back in the fourth episode of the podcast. Like, why are people just going this way and just getting killed why are people killing what is the point like you you know what i'm talking about right mm -hmm. oh my what's your view on this obviously they were in the brit they were part of the london Bridge attack that happened recently but now they were found and they were just stopped to death what's your point what's your view on this it's like again again it's like really sad like Sometimes I just wonder to myself, like, why are people getting killed? For what reason? Like, they didn't do anything to you or something. They were innocent. You just decided to go and just kill them. Also, like, hearing these people being stabbed in around London, I've heard, I've heard so many stories. It's like, it's not really... It's not really something that's new to me, cause, cause everybody know everybody knows London is a dangerous place, and people are getting shanked and stuff. Sometimes they even get shot, you know. 
let me just let me just stop you over there. It's not that London is a bad place, but it's just that London is just known like to have these situations happen. Her, it's like having people just getting stabbed to death. It's like how how do I say it? It's like there's oh, there's so many better things that people could be doing to their, for their lives, but instead you want to go down this road. And because of this situation, even the ones on the street are just worried. That's why you would see them carry a knife themselves. Why? Because of self-defense from the people that could potentially stab them to death. That's why the moment everyone gets involved in this situation is going to become a repeated circle. Even for like police to find them and arrest them, it's not enough. Because the moment you arrest one, another one will potentially come out and do the same thing that the other person has been doing. You know what I mean? So, it's just not, it's just not pleasant to be seeing these sort of, these sort of stories. It's very, very disappointing in my own opinion. But for all those listening, it would, what do you take from this? Like, let us know your opinion so we can look in for it. And I know we've been t- going down this side of this sad stories on this podcast. Let's just get on to like let's, let's more positive, like, just get on to positive things. Talk about you know, your African when now you see these, we relate to these because we're Nigerians and. Trust uh, me, this. Well, uh, but here's the thing, guys. This is going to get interesting. I, I, I have my policies. Forget your policies, man. No one cares about your policies. Look. No, I mean. Forget your policies. Let's just look into some of them. Let's look at the first one. Let's see it for me. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait. It says, you know your African win. You ask your parents for a ride to school, and they tell you they used to walk five miles uphill to school. And five miles uphill back, so you can walk too. Eh? Like, wait, wait, wait! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you mention the another n- one, just talk about this one. Talk yeah, about the yeah, one with yeah. the They made a mistake there. Yeah, what? I know you said you ask your parents for a ride to school, and they tell you they used to walk five miles uphill to school. Okay, five miles uphill to school is all right, but five miles uphill back. It's supposed to be five miles downhill back. Hey, who knows, Kelly? Maybe there's a hill they have to climb over for them to get to school. Oh yeah. Like Kelly. That's what I just said. But like maybe, they, but at the same time, maybe they have to climb another hill to get back home. Yo, but here's the thing: how many times have we? How many times have we heard that, Kelly? Like I've heard it so many times, Ella. Like you see me when I used to be a little boy. I walk all the way to school. My school is one hour away. But I wake up early. I take my bath. I do everything. That's I put all, on my uniform. That's all I walk to school. It is far. I walk for one hour all the way to get to school. And then walk one hour walk all the way back. We've heard already this so many stories. It's not that it's a lie, Kelly. It's just that they're over-exaggerating it. You know what I mean? Hyper- hyperbole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> How about the second one? You know you're African when half the things you pack to travel are not for you. So is this this thing? When you're about to travel, you pack your bags. People will come to you and be like, yo, yo, can you put it in your bag for me? When we get there, I will collect it from you. So relatable. Like here's the thing, Khalil. When I we always do that. Yo, 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 I remember I packed my bag. I weighed it. It was 17 kilograms. And the limit is 23 kilograms. So I have 17. I have six left. So I'm thinking, you know what? I will not get stopped because my bag weighs six kilograms less than the limit. But then, of course, when someone sees that my bag weighs 17, you'll be like, oh, since you have so much space and He's not weighing that much. Can you just put this in your bag for me? I swear when I when we land there, when we get there, I will collect it from you. That happens all the time. Everyone does everyone does it. 
and it's older people that in Africa that do it. Just me. It happens all the time. You can agree with me on this, can you? Of course. So relatable. Absolutely relatable. Oh, how about this one? You know you're African when you're the youngest, so you get the smallest meat in the pot. Oh my god, so relatable. <laughs> so relatable. Ah oh, yes. <laughs> I remember this because it have always happened to you when you were the youngest before Muhammad was born. It always happened to me. And now when Muhammad is born. He gets the smallest, and you get a little bit of an upgrade. Like, okay, you're not the smallest, and you also will give you a little bigger one. <laughs> oh, how about this? Sometimes they, give Muhammad, sometimes they give Muhammad a bigger one, and they give me a small one. I'm just like, no, nah, it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen all the time. Not all the time, but you know, it's just sometimes maybe it's just a mistake. Next one is you know, you're African when your parents threaten you to give you a dirty slap. If you misbehave, you be like, "Hey, listen to yeah, me." Obviously. How about this? Listen to me, you two pitching. If you tell me you're rubbish again, I will give you a dirty slap right now. And then the young girls will be like, "Oh no, no, no! Please, I don't want to slap you. No, 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 no. I'll be here. I'll be here." It happens all the time. Be like, "I'll give you dirty slap right now. I'll give you all power and then power at the same time." Relatable, absolutely relatable. It happens all the time. Well, how about this? You know your African when a little kid's party turns into an adult party at night. I swear. All the time. Happens all the time. Because uh, remember, Khalil, remember when we were in Nigeria, all the parties that we went to, yes. they are meant for the little kids. By the time it gets the night, all the adults have taken over. It is their party now. So we listen to all these nice kiddie songs. We're like, now it's time to boost up the bass. Time to put on Skeleu or Leku. They put your shocky. I don't know. Like, Science si- si- to tell. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? I don't know any of those songs. Science student. Well, I know science student, but I don't know the other ones. So you don't know Skelehu? Huh? You don't know shocky? I, I know shocky. Then why are you saying you don't know any of them? I'll come back into the screen. I know this one. Or how about here's this one, Kelly. You know your African when. Everything always relates back to school. You're that's eating all this junk food. Eh, that's why you are failing your studies. Um, I don't I don't understand this one because everything relates back to school. I mean, have you ever do you relate to this one, Kelly? No. Nope. I mean I, I can't like sometimes that is Yo, 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 calm. Oh, so yo, calm. Don't talk about our parents on the podcast. So no, don't mention it. No, don't mention that at all. No, forget that. No, we don't talk about our parents on the podcast. Let's sit down with say, You know, you're Nigerian. Oh, this one says, You know, you're Nigerian when you can go to a Nigerian party with no money, but leave loaded. I see. How many people have we seen in Bagdad? They came in zero combo for their name, zero combo for their pocket, zero cent when they come to the party. That's what happens to me in school. When I go, when we're having a fair, like when they put up the table and they're selling things, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I come in with no money, I feel like, oh, I have no money. And then I just walk out around two euros. <laughs> I mean, two euros would be low, but. Uh, two, two or three euros. Okay. How about this? It says here, you know your African way. The party starts at four and you arrive at eleven. <laughs> like the party's already started. It's only been seven hours since it started. And I'm you arrive at 11. by the time you arrive, it's already like over. And that's the thing. People, People might have be done. left. People have left. Or you know, maybe some other places just be like that Oh, don't worry, we haven't even started yet. It happens all the time. We've seen it all. Or oh, how about this one, Kenneth? You know you're African when instead of hiring a caterer, everybody invited to the party brings a dish. So this means Kalil, if you invite to the party, bring food that everyone can eat at the party. Hey, you know who does that all the time, but I'm not gonna mention everyone, Kalil. Every African does it, Kalil. Forget that. Everyone every does every it. Every African. Yes, mostly every African has done this, Kalil. How many how many times have, have, have we seen an African? Bring food. 
we've seen it there. Besides, I'm like, they're like, oh, come and cook the food for us for this party. Nah, bring your own. Say, I beg, bring you, bring your own food so that we come eat for this place. Well, let's do that one with the plastic cone. You know, yeah. Nah, I mean, we can't really talk about this because what about the, the viewers can't see it. Well, I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Box. Wait. Here's this. You know your African when going to a university is not optional. I swear. So like basically in, in Africa, you must go to you must go to university. It is a must. That's how life is. When you finish secondary school and you pass your YA, you pass your Neko, you pass your Jan, you pass all of those, you go straight to you, you go to university. If you didn't pass it, you repeat the year and do the exams again and go to university. But it, in there, it's a must, Kelly. You must go to university there. You must get a degree. You must get masters. You must get PhD. You must get all of them. Because that's how Africans do it. That's how they roll. Well, let's see that one. The, the orange one. one. It says, sorry, I didn't get that one. But this one says, you know your African way, you can easily distinguish the smell of death all. I swear. Do you know what death all is? Yeah. yeah. Like, they even make ads for it. Of course, they make ads for it. I mean, that's the uh, that's what people do. Yeah. But here's the thing, Kelly. You can go into someone's house. You can, sm even though it is five miles away, you can smell it and be like, yeah, so this one's having death all. Um, coming. Yeah. How about this? Orange John. You know your Africa when it's perfectly okay to show up to one's house without notice and expect to be fed. I swear. I mean, it's true. Yeah, I, it's true. I've done it. Like, I can well, just... Except for the last part where it says, well, I can expect to be fed. It happens. But, but that one, you know your Africa when it's perfectly okay to show up to, to one's house without notice. You already know. I swear when people come to our house, that's what happens. Like, they don't even knock on the door. No, they just, they, they, they invite themselves into the house. They just come in like that. It happens all the time. And then let's check, let's, let's, wait, let's check the last one. It says, you know your African when as when your parents with what is like curse at them. So it's like, be like, oh, my baby. They be like, yes, mommy. I say, I beg, go and get the tissue from the toilet for me. I knew that. What, mommy? Is that eh? You are telling me what? I say, watch your face. I say, no, 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 mommy. I don't mean like that. I'm just wondering what you said. You know, you know that sort of thing, Skelil. Oh, can we do one last one? Okay. Three eleven. Let's try this. It says, you you know, African when, when you ask, mommy, daddy. Can I please have a can of soda? And the parents be like, Go and drink water, my friend. <laughs> I say, Go and drink water. You want something to drink? Go get water for the thing. So, Fetch water. So relatable. I remember, I remember once we were in the party with people. I remember once we were in that as well. No, 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 and and that I and that I ask and that I ask can I can I have some can I have glass of shandy please and and the black go and get some water this is not for you this is only for adults no 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 I'm I'm just, like, all right let's look at this one this will be the final one we say this will be the final one you know your African when everyone older than you is either auntie or uncle I swear. Of course, it happens all the time. Good like, eh, there are parents, friends. You know what? They, I don't even know. Yeah, because here's the thing, Khalil. This person you, is only your parents' friend, but you see them, you just mention them like, oh, hello, Chukwezi. Hello, Kalechi. And their parents will be like, no, don't mention them by their name. Call them uncle. He say, but daddy, yeah, he's not your brother. I said, I beg if you don't call him uncle right now, I will uncle your mouth. And then you just be like, Uncle Galechi, Uncle Chukwezi, <laughs> and teaching here, and to this, and to that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
All right, yeah. So I think we're just going to end the podcast right over there. Thank you to everyone listening slash watching. I was in Khalil Abuka being on this episode of the podcast. So you have anything to say? This podcast was really enjoyable. Well, I mean, like, except for like, the part where we talk about that guy, what's the name again? Benicophobia. Where we talk about Benicophobia, which is to your old daughter passing away. Yeah, hey, that's understandable, Kalil. I recover many topics. It, it really brought down the mood. Yeah, I know, but we talk about every topic. We yeah. keep it 100. We say whatever we want, yeah. except the bad words on this podcast. Yeah. And also, I enjoyed it because at the end, it right. was, no, yeah, then we want to. Thank you for being in this episode of the podcast, Kalil. We'll see you next week. Let me, let me come out. Yeah, come down. See you next week. So then again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to everyone for watching slash listening. If you enjoy it, give it a give it a good rating. Let, give us your opinions on what you think of these topics. Follow everyone. The links are down in the description. If you want to watch back all the episodes slash listen to all the episodes of this podcast, the link to the playlist is also down there. If you want to t- give us a topic you want us to talk about, there is a link to a form where you can give us the topic that you want us to talk about, which is also down there. And as always, we will see you in the next episode next week. Say anjumanku.